I'm Bailey and I make videos about growing your glutes as a vegan. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use progressive overload to grow your glutes and also how to build your own booty building program. Let's get into the video. I first want to explain what progressive overload is. Most people think that progressive overload means you're adding volume to your workouts. So that would be adding more weight and doing the same amount of reps and the same amount of sets every single time. There is a rep range that you want to do most workouts in. I do want to make a video about this, but with hip thrusts, you want to do 8 to 12 reps. But with kickbacks, you want to do like 12 to 15 reps. A lot of gym bros assume keep the same amount of reps and do your three to four sets, but do more volume or more weight every time. That's not necessarily true. There's more ways to progressively overload. You can progressively overload by adding more sets or adding more reps. So I'm gonna use the example that I did in my last video on how to grow your glutes as a vegan. Please watch that video. Even if you're not vegan, you can still get something from that video. I explained that if I did 100 pound hip thrust today and I did 10 sets and three reps, the next time I do hip thrust, I would wanna do 105 pounds in the same 10 reps for three sets or I could still do 100 pounds I could do 11 reps of three sets or I could do 100 pounds still do 10 reps but do four sets there are also even more ways to progressively overload beyond weight reps and sets one of those ways is by timing your rest period between sets so you can do less of a rest period between your sets and that will help you progressively overload if you're doing the same amount of sets reps and weight but you time how long you rest in between your set you will then be progressively overloading i time my weight or i time my rest periods between my sets i do one minute if i wanted to progressively overload with that i could time my rest period and do a 45 minute rest a 45 second rest or a 40 or a 30 second rest and that would make my workout harder. Another way that you can progressively overload beyond that is that you can add to your time under tension. The way you can add to your time under tension is by doing a pulse or a pause at the top or the bottom of your workout. So when I'm doing hip thrust, you can do a pulse at the top, a pause at the top, or if you're doing goblet squats, you can do a pulse or a pause at the bottom. When you're doing Bulgarian split squats, you can hold it at the bottom, something like that. And that will add to your time under tension. Another way to progressively overload by adding time under tension is to uh, lengthen your range of motion or to have a bigger range of motion. So that would look like using something like this that you would stand on when you're doing something like an RDL or a deadlift because then the length that you have to lift that weight up um, becomes two to four inches higher, allowing you to have a longer time under tension. The next thing I want to talk about is how to implement progressive overload into your booty building program. On my website, I have a free downloadable template, Progressive Overload Tracker. I recommend using that, downloading it, printing it out, keeping it in your car, in your gym bag, in your purse, keeping it with you. You don't have to take it into the gym with you if you feel weird about carrying a paper around at the gym, I get it. I don't do it, I do it on my phone and then I go home and I add it to my Progressive Overload Tracker. But you could use that template to make something like that in your phone or in like a notebook. I see a lot of people carry on little notebooks at my gym anyways, and they like down how many sets, reps, and weight they're doing. So to implement that tracker, on the left hand side, you pick the workouts you're gonna do. The very first workout should be your hardest, heaviest lift, and it should probably be a compound movement, something like a squat, a deadlift, or I do hip thrust. The second workout, the second and third don't really matter as much, and then the last one I like to do my lightest easiest lift last and that could be kind of like a burnout you only have to do three to four exercises you don't have to do all four of them if you don't want to but that last one for me i do kickbacks it's kind of like a burnout and then under each week i'm gonna put the date that i started just so i can track what date it was so i can look back and know and then on the other side of the week i'm gonna put my measurements i take my glute measurements from the biggest part of my glutes and the reason that i do that is just to track my progress i understand that that could be toxic to some people or triggering to some people so you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I just like to track my progress that way. And then underneath that, you'll track your weight, sets, and reps, and progressively overload from there. So on mine, 
I know from the last workout that I had that I'm going to do more reps on the hip thrusts. I'm going to do more reps on the goblet squats and more reps on the kickbacks. Or not on the kickbacks. On the goblet squats and the split squats, I'm going to do more reps. One extra rep. But on kickbacks, I think I'm going to increase the weight just because I think it's time to increase the weight on there. So that's how you can implement it into your own program. If you're doing this, I guarantee you, you will start to see progress if you start tracking your workouts now. I did want to put a disclaimer in here and say that you're not gonna put overload every single day. You're not going to get better all of the time. And that's just because sometimes we don't sleep as good, sometimes our diet's not as good, sometimes we drink enough water, sometimes we're not in the right headspace. It happens. Don't beat yourself up about it. Track how you did and just try to do better the next time. And that's all I have for today's workout. That's for today's workout. That's all I have for today's video. If you are looking for a coach to help you grow your glutes as a vegan, I always leave my link to apply in the description box. If not, that's fine. Just take the information from my videos and that will still make me just as happy. Videos that are coming up, I'm gonna be doing something about how to go your how to become more glute dominant so that when you do like squats and things like that, you feel it in your glutes more than your legs. I'm gonna be making a video on, I'm gonna be vlogging like what I'm eating, what my workouts are looking like, things like that. That's gonna be next weekend. I'm gonna be doing a Planet Fitness workout, of course, as always. I have all kinds of videos coming up about going to as vegan, so please subscribe if you wanna see those videos. And I love you, goodbye. <laughs>